all guys it looks like my camera is not working today so my my video camera so I'm using a phone and this thing is about to die so this is gonna be a really short video just to let you guys know that using the roof rack for the first time using the brand new Firestone Destination MT2s for the first time um, I got all my floor joists up there Ollie and I are out here at Bushcraft Ridge. We're going to hang the floor joist today, and then there he is up there. Uh, saw a snake cross the path on the way in. Don't know if that's bad luck or not, <laughs> but that's what we've come out here to do. So I'm going to get all these hung, and then I'll just do a brief follow-up afterwards. All right, guys. If you like the video, like the video. Wait, is that what I say? If you like the video, like, share, subscribe, <laughs> do what you do, questions and comments below, and let's get to work. I forgot to say, hey, it's Brad from Bushcraft Ridge. Oh man, this whole day is shot. Just so you guys know, this is 14 12 foot 2x6s cut down, cut in half, essentially. Um, you can figure out that weight. This is treated lumber. And it came from Lowe's, so it's super wet. And that's how much weight is on this thing right now. Go look up the weight for treated lumber. Um, it'll tell you how much this is. And it's evenly distributed across here. Got it ratchet strapped down. And didn't have any problems coming over. So let's unload it. Unloaded them. Nice and organized. Well, I started to and then I was like, forget that. Well... I have all my joists in. One side are all nailed, but this, this side is not. Um, my plan was to, you see how this board is bowed right here? Might be kind of hard to see it on this. But you see that bow right there? That was all the way down. And my plan was to use these ratchet straps to pull it flush or, or pull it back in line and do the joist hangers uh, or uh, do the joists once I pulled that back flush. Um, I've tried it a couple of different ways and it obviously you can see that it doesn't pull them all flush. Um, still, I mean, it's coming along. It's looking good. I wish, and I, so I didn't nail this side in yet. This side, this side is just in there. This side is all nailed down. And um, I'm standing on it right now. You can see. I don't have all of my support posts in yet. See those holes down there? Ollie's checking this hole out. Um... I'm going to put four by four support posts in each in um, each of these holes I dug. Those are the ones I dug with the auger. Um, see, I've got a little bit of bow down there. This side, this side came together really well. Um, I mean, you'll have gaps like that, or you know, there there are going to be gaps, but um, nothing is perfect, especially when I do it. But these gaps are unacceptable. So you'll see, watch how bad it bows. See, we're flush here, we're flush here, and then that much gap. And it continues all the way, like it did bow all the way out. But you can see where I've got that pulled back in. And this one right here, I've got pulled back in to flush. But, I mean, I don't know, it goes right back out there and for the rest of the way down. So, a couple of things might have to happen. I might have to cut new joists or I might have to get stronger uh, ratchet straps and just pull these flush and you see I've put nails from the outside in also to hold it along with the joist hanger nails 
All right, that's where we are. The next update will be with the subfloor. No, the next update will be with the posts put in the ground. And that's gonna take me a few days because I gotta figure out this joist situation. All right, guys. Questions, comments below. Let me know what you think. And Ollie and I will see you on the ridge. Okay.